Yo, what is up my Rebels? We are four days away from the NCAAs and we're going to be talking about predictions for the 141 and 149 pound weight class. Uh, we're making separate videos for each weight class, so whichever one you're watching right now, the other weight class will be on our channel. Let's go into the video. So first off, in the round of 32 at 141, the top side of 141, Jaden Ironman should have an easy time advancing. So shall Justin Simon, Chad Rad, Dom Dimas, and Tariq Wilson. Three close ones. First off, Mackenzie Bell versus Cole Matthews. Matthews gone up against a lot harder guys in the Big 12, giving me is from Pittsburgh, while uh, Mackenzie Bell gone up against easier guys, and their records, respective records, show that. But Bell has some great offense. I think he's going to be able to get to Matthews' legs a few times, get a major, move on. Then it's uh, Real Woods versus, I think, Grant Willis of Ohio State. Uh, Willis a tough, tough wrestler, and Woods, a guy who hasn't wrestled in a while, uh, came off the Pac-12s as a runner-up and had some extra matches to uh, get him into the NCAAs, and he wrestled pretty good. It was really rusty at the Pac-12, still wrestled decently. Uh, really was a matter of conditioning. That's why he lost in the finals. So I think given that there was three weeks since the Pac-12, so he'll probably have time to adjust and get an upset here. And then finally, uh, DJ Loris should be able to get an upset win uh, over whoever he's facing. Guy's a tough, tough wrestler, so he should move on. And then on the bottom side in the round of 32, uh, everyone here should have a really easy time advancing. Rivera is far better than a lot of people in this bracket. Same with Nick Lee, Ian Parker going up against a really easy guy, and so is Zachary Sherman. And then Cody Trivis has a kind of close match against a guy uh, from App State, but he's a stud wrestler from Navy, should be able to get it done. Alan Hart has a pretty easy matchup, and then Clay Carlson versus Parker Phileas, closest one in this uh, side of the bracket, I would say, but Carter, uh, great wrestler, uh, he's from SDSU, should be able to get the win over Purdue's uh, Parker Phileas, and he is leading in common opponent score, so I think Carlson should be able to win here, move on to the round of 16. And then in the round of 16, on top side, uh, Chad Red should have a tough matchup with Dressin Simon, but he is leading in common opponents. I believe he has beat Dressin before, so he should be able to get the win. Ironman should advance pretty easily. Uh, Dimas as well, and Tariq Wilson should probably have an easy win over DJ Lauren. And on the bottom side in the round of 16, Rivera should have an easy way advancing. Same with Alan Hart. Ian Parker and Zachary Sherman, this one's going to be pretty close, and I think Sherman will get the upset. He has beaten Parker before, I believe, and Parker uh, came off a runner-up finish to Dom Dimas, lost all the momentum he had given it, coming into that uh, championship, and he's a great wrestler, don't get me wrong, but I think Sherman uh, really just going to take that momentum he's had from the past conference champions. He's wrestled really, really well um, in the weeks leading up to the NCAAs. He's kind of almost peaked, I would say, so I think he'll probably get the upset against Parker, and Nick Lee should have an easy time advancing as well then in the quarters and semis Jaden Ironman uh, should have an easy time advancing against Chad Red and Dimas uh, should be able to upset Tariq Wilson I think they have wrestled before and Dimas did beat him so I think he should upset here uh, between Ironman and Dimas however I think Ironman has great defense especially when he sits out on his hip and kind of like puts your head into his leg and trying to circle from there lock up cradles i think he'll probably move on to the finals then on the bottom side sebastian rivera and nick lee both should move on this one is a rematch of the big 10 semis and i think it's going to be pretty pretty fun to watch the big 10 semis kind of got ruined by the refs in my opinion there's a lot of controversial calls takedowns not being called stalling warnings not being called against nick lee when rivera was taking all the shots this one's going to be a close one uh, it's definitely going to be a toss-up, but I think Sebastian Rivera is going to be able to pull through here, make the finals against Jaden Ironman, and between these guys, Ironman, a great, great wrestler, uh, from originally from Missouri, transferred to Iowa, but I think Sebastian Rivera will be able to get the upset here over Jaden Ironman. Just been looking great at the beginning of the season, didn't look that good. Uh, really surprised me at the Big Tens, and I think he's going to do really well at the NCAAs coming up. Yeah, let's wrap up our video talking about our predictions for the 141 and 149 pound weight class. If you haven't checked out the other weight class video, check it out on our channel. We also did a 133 and 125, so check those out. Let's wrap up our video for today. Comment down below and sub for more wrestling related content like this. Peace.